In the mid 80s, there was a new sport emerging called mountain biking, and it was starting to get a lot of attention. Mongoose was one of the first companies to take this new sport very seriously, and they recruited one of their BMX racers, John Tomac, to lead the charge. In 84, I rode for Mongoose as a BMX racer, and then in 85, I turned pro as a BMX rider, and they really couldn't fit me into their program, and they were cutting back a little bit, so started playing around riding mountain bikes and doing some local races in Southern California, and I started to progress really quickly um, as a mountain bike racer, and Russell Kawa back at that time was kind of heading up some of the sponsorship stuff, and he immediately, you know, wanted to help me out, and um, it just really took off immediately. Here we go! Richie Graywall, John Tomac now to the front. In the original days, we would race the same bike. I mean, we'd run the whole bike through the, through the stage race, doing the hill climb or the cross country or the downhill or even trials back then. The sport was so young, you just really didn't know, you know, where it was going to go. I mean, I had visions of maybe what direction product development might go. And, you know, I spent a fair amount of time with Skip Hess Jr. at that time, who was a pretty integral part of their product development. And that was really fun for me because I was, you know, still 18 or 19 years old. And he was kind of teaching me the ropes about how, you know, like product development or R&D from racing can actually trickle down into production and we, we built a, a Tomac signature model, uh, I think it was in, I think we worked on it in 87 and then released it in 88, somewhere right in there and immediately some of the geometry that I like trickled down in some of their other models and um, it was a bit of a departure from the geometry that was happening at that time and kind of changed it, you know, changed mountain bikes geometry for, for quite a while. But I, I think that Tomac Mongus might have been the first signature bike for mountain biking. And it was cool taking the guys that supported me and working with them in BMX and then carrying it over into mountain biking. And it was really like, felt like a really kind of a cool team project. And um, we were kind of taking on the world from a different angle. In the early to mid nineties, BMX and BMX freestyle was in a lull. While mountain biking was booming, and throughout all of the 90s and well into the new century, Mongoose was riding high with a dominating mountain biking team that consisted of legendary riders such as Brian Lopes, Eric Carter, Lee Donovan, Steve Larson, Mark Gullickson, Chris Clark, and more. Along the way, they racked up multiple national and world championships and helped push the Mongoose brand to the masses. In 